Okay, so we downloaded the file. Now we're going to extract the data. We downloaded this zip file inside here. You can see. Let me see where it is. And it's sit here and inside of it, you can tell us to open it up and we can just drag and drop this whole thing like onto the desktop here. Okay. So that will help. It says you've already got one, but we'll do it again anyway. I have the uploader. Yeah. No, then we'll make a. I don't know which uploader that one is. We'll make a new folder here called Uploader 2. Okay. And then in order to do that, instead we'll go inside the folder here and just copy it. Copy it off. Okay, so now we've got it all extracted. It needs to be extracted in order for us to add it onto the Active Sync, uh, your Active Sync to handheld. So now we go into browse contents, we go to storage card. Actually, uh, have you synchronized the handheld first? Do you want to? No. Why, why don't you do one more synchronize on the handheld to make sure we've got all the latest uh, data on it? My okay, kick sync is finished. Okay. So now on the handheld, uh, if you can start the virtual um, the virtual CE software. And I will run it here on the server. There we go. I'm sure it's a double size it so you can see a little clearer. That's handy. I'm glad I went ahead and purchased that. Alright, so you exited out of tracker already or are you still on it? I'm out of it. Okay. So we sync sync did the synchronize on that, so that's all current. We're going to back up just as a precaution. We're going to back up the Calzone data folder. Um, okay. And that way it'll have all the latest records. Alright, so again, the uh, what we're trying to do here, this this by copying this Calzone data, where it will remain on the storage card. This is really just a backup. After we're done with this whole thing, um, one of the last steps is that we reinstall the tracker uh, the tracker light onto the handheld again. And by doing this, doing it this way, we've got a backup in case we need it, but we shouldn't have to even use it. Once we've done the tracker install, it should say, hey, the Calzone data folder is already there. Leave them alone, and then uh, we'll bring it up and we'll have to do a check for updates to make sure it's got the matching version, but it should be pretty simple at that point. Um, all your user settings and all your customer data and everything for, for this handheld will be on this stuff. Right. So, okay, we got that. Now, we should be able to take all the files that we unzipped, put them onto the storage card, onto the main storage card directory. Yeah, this is the big file. Hopefully the rest of them will uh, come in pretty quick after this one. Okay, so now I'll turn back on the uh, virtual CE here. And I'll probably lose a lot of the visual on here because uh, I don't know how well this is going to work. Um, as soon as I start this up, at some point it's going to reboot the handheld, which we're going to lose, lose all of it, but it might just be enough to show how to do it. All right, and so then we start the start uploader. And yep, yeah, it just peered off mine. What does it? Uh, what does it look like on yours? Updating right now. And okay. Now it went to an immediate reboot, mm -hmm. and now you've got you've got a screen that uh, shows what. Updating operating. Okay, and it's got a little progress bar that's probably moving very slowly. Right. Right. Very good. 
So basically at this point though we can just do uh, we've got we've got this connected here. So active sync's connected. If we run the I'm assuming this is the installer here. Yep. It's all okay. Hit deploy. And now it should run it on your right on the handheld. You should see it start in a minute. Yes, of course it will lose it now. Although maybe we should have changed that timestamp first. But <laughs> <laughs> it might try and now synchronize since uh, 2005 for you. But if it does, just pull it out of the cradle and it'll stop pretty quickly. Well, and this is interesting. I had turned the phone off because sometimes when the phone is on and it's an active sync, it creates headaches. Okay. And, it, and the phone's on. It they should they should be able to work together. So maybe that's a good sign for this uh, update already. Could be. Okay, so it's uh it should be on there. We click okay. Okay. So now we got now we got the time and date right and uh go ahead and start tracker and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a uh start it up and then do a check for updates right away. And what that's gonna do is just make sure that the program files and the the config files are right. Um and but the sync should be pretty short. Okay, so now that you got the update, yeah, your other ones are 5730, and that's what that one says? Yes. So now that it's syncing, it should be going back like two days of, of synchronizing, right? Just like the normal update process does. No, it just went back to earlier today. Oh, that's because, yeah, okay, now that makes sense. That's because the version that you are started from is your update. If you're using a newer one, it would have done it, but you were using three something and that one didn't do the two day pushback. And in this case it doesn't matter because it's the same, but uh, is it done synchronizing? Yes. When we installed this smart update loader and updated the version, it wipes out all of your all the programs and all the things you had on your menu. Tracker probably isn't on your menu. Yeah. Yeah. All those kinds of things, you got to set all those back up again. Uh, yeah, just like it made you realign when you started the computer, started it up when you first started up. Okay, there we go. All right, now do you see it on your list? It, yes, and I've got it uh, up to disconnect it. There we go. Sometimes you have to. Uh, Hit that disconnect and reconnect down there on the on on the bottom in uh, in the program. And sometimes if you just exit out of virtual CE on the desktop and uh, out of it on the handheld, it does it. So now let's see what things look like here. Because you started Tracker already, it's in here for you. So that'll just take care of it. Virtual CE is listed here. Um, if you want to put the clock back up here on top, we've got to change all those settings in here again. Uh, did you try logging in yet? No. Let's go ahead and start it up here and, um, We'll log in, make sure that the username that you would normally log into this handheld lets you in, and we'll take a look, make sure the customer list looks right, and that, that it looks like all right, it's so all the right data. Take a look at, uh, as I said, the customer list. Shouldn't have had to sure reload it, it like should all be right here for, uh, we backed it up earlier. So this is in case there was a problem. So that's the advantage of using the storage cards. Yes. And it should be, like I said, right where you left off when we synchronized when we started this. So it should be all set. All right. Uh, the phone is still turned on up there, I see, and yes. it's been turned on this whole time while we've been connected. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think you said this one would be likely to have turned off already. Absolutely. So let's uh, let's give it a week and or a few days or whatever, and and uh, go from there.